Hey there, what is it guys? Welcome back to another video. Today is race review and NASCAR news. So, Daytona. One of my personal favorite tracks. Not my favorite, Talladega. I don't know, it just has a place in my heart. But, um, Daytona. The, the, the Daytona 500, all until the end, was kind of boring. You know, a single file, all the way to the top. And... It just wasn't anything that interesting. But this one, I watched the entirety of it. Like, I, I'm, if I didn't watch a lap, it was probably like three laps in total. I was sat down glued to the TV watching it. It was amazing. The first 20 laps before that competition caution, it was incredible. I mean, blocks after blocks after runs. And the thing about this package I noticed is it seems like they can tandem for about two to three seconds. And then they stop. And then they pull away. And it'll look like they're, everyone else is about to get a run on the one person. And, like, you know, eat them up, destroy them. But, no, they, they can hold it there. Which I thought was kind of weird because you can pull away and not get eaten up. Which doesn't usually happen at Super Speedways. And, um... This race, I'd honestly give it a 8.5 out of 10. That ending was a... It kind of turned into a little bit of a... Uh, it, it looked like... It looked like they've never driven before, honestly. With the shoving and the... Like, Kurt Busch, I'm actually shocked he did that. Because he was shoving him so hard. I mean, yes, you're going for the win at Daytona. It's a pretty big deal if you win at Daytona. Uh, they were... He, they were shoving each other, and there were—I mean, the only thing is, there were there were a lot of guys who have not won a race up there, trying to get their first win. Um, as you know, I was rooting for Eric Jones and Brad Kozlowski. I mean, this is really Eric, one of Eric Jones' only chance of taking home the checkered flag, because he's just not in the best equipment at the moment. I mean, there are like all the super speed races he has a chance, because I know he's a good super speed racer. And, I mean, the other tracks, I can really, really only think of him winning at as, uh, like, Bristol, Darlington. Because I looked his average finish at Darlington, I think it's, like, 7, which is incredible. But, um, first stage, really good, Kyle Busch. I got 2009 vibes from that one, if you know what I mean. Uh, stage 2, that ending, I thought they were, I thought the big one down the backstretch final lap of stage two was happening. And they were Austin Dillon was really trying to get there. Um and that third stage, once that first crash happened, the Vic World cars, it all started to go down. You know, Steinhouse shoving Truex. I remember watching that. I thought Truex was like gonna get hit from behind, like when he was uh, sideways, I thought he was gonna go sideways out of the wall. And I get hit in the, like, in the right corner panel and, you know, get some air. But, I mean, thankfully he didn't. Uh, and then the second crash that happened, Brad got involved, so I had to root for Eric Jones. Uh, he, you know, he was running up front. He, he wasn't really running up front most of the day, but he was there, you know. He, I think he, most of the day he ran around 10th through 15th, if you really look closely. Eric Jones had a very good, started having a really good finish because he was going to start ninth after that Martin Truex Jr. crash. He, he was going to start ninth. Um, you know, honestly, Ryan Blaney, he was up front a lot, like, a lot of that last half of that race, which it's not, you know, he, he, did, he wasn't just there at the final lap. He was, he was leading, like, he was in the top ten, like, most of the last half of that race with his teammate, Joey Logano. Um, in that final crash, pretty big. Eric Gerald was so close to getting through, uh, until he got hit by Alex Bowman. I think he would have had, like, a top, a really good top ten finish. His best finish this season was at the, was at Indianapolis Roval. Uh, he finished seventh. Yeah. But, yeah. I'm right there. 8.5 out of 10. And that's basically for NASCAR News. See you in the next one. Peace.